can't trust cops. Soon as I spot them, I'm running cops. And if they catch me, I'm busting cops. Citizens actually sent us this video. Uh, actually, someone sent it to me personally and said, you know, I'm very concerned about uh, what's going on. You may want to see this video. I think you're going to be equally concerned. Uh, she was so very right. This video completely, as you can tell, infuriates me that they will try to influence the youth in this community as it relates to this violent crap behavior. Where is the moral compass? I don't see it. No way, no how. We ask why I released the video? We're so worried about the names of the deputies that shot. Really? No one ever asked for the names of the innocent people that were scared shitless that day as bullets were flying by their head. Really? Come on, folks. Wake up! We're talking about lives mattering? Why are we not talking about the drug dealing? Why are we not talking about the fear of the families of my deputies that have to say goodbye to their husbands and wives every day for fear that they're not going to come home alive? Really? No one has asked that question. No one. Because I'm going to tell you whose life doesn't matter is everybody that was out on that scene as it relates to this guy living the gangster life. Nobody's life mattered to him. Over 65 rounds fired that day. Absolute miracle that no one got hurt. Any doubt that the nine millimeter here with the laser light and the Ruger 380 with the built-in laser light was in that video. Any doubt in anybody's mind? Extended magazines, all these rounds of ammunition, seal -a meal bags consistent with what? Drug dealing, right? Any doubt there? Hermetically sealed buds of marijuana here. Seven, eight hundred dollars of cash on his pocket. In fact, one of the witnesses said, as she watched the thing go down on the street between the hotel and the office building, she turned her head because she did not want to see a cop get killed. So the message to Kensington and all the other neighborhoods in Jefferson Parish, wake up! If you know what's going on in your neighborhoods, call the sheriff's office and let us know.